and welcome to my channel. You guys know how hard it is to find a bay. It is actually impossible because there are so many fuck boys out there and it bothered me so much. And as soon as I fall for someone, as soon as I start liking someone, this guy turns out to be a freaking fuck boy and my dogs don't freaking care if I'm filming or not. Thank you. Really, nigga? It is super sad because I spent so long to find a decent guy and then he turns out to be a freaking douchebag. Thanks to social networks, thanks to the internet, there are so many opportunities out there to get to know people. And there are also apps to actually find people to date. Which to me is insane because I'm a 90s kid, which means I grew up to just meeting people at school, hoping to meet a cute guy in the subway, see someone at the cinema and be like, yo, wanna hang up with me because... You're gonna hit it tonight. Jokes, jokes. <laughs> I was such a little back then. <laughs> it is so insane if you think about how many opportunities you have to meet people. There is an app that has been super popular the past weeks or month and it is called Tinder. All my friends have been talking about it and I was like, okay, I need to find out what's the big deal about it. I downloaded it while I was in Los Angeles and I started a swiping game, guys, and honestly, they were the funniest things ever. So I want to find out if you can actually find a bait on Tinder and see if there are any guys that are not as fucked up as you would think people on the internet are. Including me. I'm so sorry. I'm just so weird. So since you guys know that I'm a Disney princess and I'm on Tinder, let's just call myself Tinderella. Let's see if myself, aka Tinderella, can find her prince on Tinder. Alright, let's get it. Alright, let's get the thing going. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Alright, let's get this thing going. On. Now. Now. <laughs> my swiping game is so strong. Basically, my swiping left game. It is not about looks. The looks are what attracts you to the person. Basically, it's all about personality because at the end of the day, if you can't talk with a person, if you can't have fun with a person, if you can't be in a good relationship where you can communicate and all that, what's the point of being in a relationship? I want to be in a relationship with someone who makes me happy, who I can make happy, who I can be there for, and someone I can talk with and have fun, like a best friend and lovers at the same time relationship. So that's what it's all about. But Tinder is basically just finding someone who looks good and then you will see if you guys work out or if this guy is actually a fucked up person that is obsessed with your feet and just wants pictures of your feet or your ears or other body parts that are not attractive at all but to that person they are. So that is kind of creepy. So I know that people are super strong at pick up lines and Tinder is the place to be when you want to pull off your freaking pick up lines because guys I got the worst pick up lines ever. So he was like, can you feel the love tonight? No I can't with you. I'm so sorry. I like Milan because I like a woman who speaks her mind and can handle a big sword. Really, nigga? I hope this is not a deal breaker, but I've never been to Disneyland. Will you go with me? I'm so sorry, but this is actually a deal breaker. Sorry. I followed you on Instagram and you are painfully adorable. Painfully adorable? Is that a compliment or is that an insult? Because I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. <laughs> I've never actually seen a real Disney princess, but I can only imagine that it would look exactly like you. Oh, thank you for recognizing my true self. You're my real big deal for me. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm what the? F oh, he was he was a Disney prince for a while. Seriously, which one? Oh, not really. I mean, it was Aladdin for Halloween one year. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, this guy was like, which Disney princess are you? Or are you all of them combined creating the perfect princess? <gasps> you guys know how to get me, right? It's so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy, but still I'm so single. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? <gasps> What's wrong with me? So this guy knows how to do it. Just a simple, you're beautiful, 
Guys, compliments are so important. Telling her how beautiful she is does not cost you a freaking penny. So get your ass up and tell her. Hint to all the boys are there. Tell me how beautiful I am just to say. I enjoy this one and traveling is always great. I would say that is a good start for us. You know what? You are my future name. Oh, I love when little boys are watching me film my freaking movie thingy. Oh, I hate when people are playing in front of my house. Do I do that? So this guy was like, were you always this attractive or were you a nerd who grew up to be high? How does he know about my past? Do you hear these kids screaming in the background? At least pay for watching me doing a freaking thing, you guys! <gasps> okay. Actually, if you haven't seen my weight loss experience or my weight loss story, make sure to go check it out right here to check out my video of me talking about how I lost weight because I was actually really not a nerd honestly I, I look really weird go check that out right here <laughs> you know sometimes I get these long ass texts and I don't get them at all he was like I just want to say I find you very attractive if I got to know you I would invite you over for a very romantic dinner and as soon as you arrived I would pull you close and whisper in your ear I have a Swanson TV dinner in the fridge with your name on it and then I would proceed to fill a wine glass with the finest grape juice which it has to offer. Is this supposed to turn me on? I like dogs and I like Disney so I guess I get some plus points. Winky face. But what I most like are your eyes. Aww, they're gorgeous. I feel so flattered. <laughs> Is your name Ariel? Because I think we mermaid for each other. <laughs> no. Just no. no. And then there are these type of guys on Tinder that are totally not bay material. As in, so I've heard I have a pretty large cock, how would you feel about getting a big? <laughs> I would not even feel it because it's too short, I wouldn't even reach my entrance. Hell, hell out of this. Shh. Oh my god, I can't handle these people. Hey, does this one know that they're missing one of their princesses? Did I just hit myself in the face? Ah! It's still working. It's every freaking thing is working. Why well, am I single? I just don't get it. I just want a boyfriend and kisses and someone who loves me and cuddles and, and chocolate and Italian food. Sue, you're so gorgeous. I literally don't even know what you put here. Don't put anything here. Because you are Ooh. my be oh. So if you're a Disney princess, doesn't make me a prince. <laughs> Technically it does. That pink up line was as loose as my arm shirt here. Woo, bitch, get out of the way. Get out of the way, bitch, get out of the way. So the word around town is that you're a princess. This is true. The only reason I'm asking is because I happen to be a prince. Ooh. So when is that ball happening? Oh, I've got my shoes ready and my dress and all that stuff. <laughs> what do you mean there's no ball? What? What did I wash my hair for? What did I shave my legs for? What did I get up for? I can just... I'm going back to bed. This is... <laughs> okay, I live on a beach. Have this land pass and three dogs. Where do we go from here, love? Down, girl. When I look at you, I can't do anything else but smile. You make me want to knit us matching sweaters. <laughs> Did anyone else think this would turn out to be kind of sexual? I am really confused. I mean, I'm really into matching sweaters, but... Hold your boobs! 
Hold your legs because this guy is about to drop the fucking best pickup line you've ever heard. Alright, this is kind of uncomfortable, but. Okay. Damn, girl, I might panic because I don't know what to do, but this feeling in my stomach makes me want to take you out. I was actually shouting my name. I guess I'm turning into Rapunzel and he's my prince. He's shouting at me. He's using like a million A's. I don't know why. Calm the freak down. Cinderella! I'm sorry, I'm sure your title is Lady Suba based on our place of meeting. I could not resist. Well, you got it. I'm Cinderella. Now bow down, bitches! Because I am flawless. Aww, and there the sweet compliments. Like, I'm sorry, I understand you might got a thousand compliments a day, but let me just put this into a minute. You're simply the most gorgeous girl I have ever seen. Aww! Truly a Disney princess, Sue? Why would you doubt that I am a Disney princess? <laughs> Look at me. Seriously? Oh, Christian is just really straightforward. You like to have sexual adventures too? Yeah, I do, Christian. Just not with you. <coughs> wow, I've always wanted to match with a Disney princess. I love how I'm making people's dreams come true. I'm just making people happy by just matching with them on Tinder. <laughs> Hashtag yeah. Hi Sue, I know this page is fake, but you can tell me the name of the model that she used the pictures from. I am not a catfish. Why are you guys doing that to me? This is just like... Uh... Congratulations on being gorgeous. Four for you, Glenn Coco. High five. I knew I said pretty. <laughs> Okay. Wanna watch Netflix and make out? No. How do you feel about Netflix, pizza, and poppy dates? Perfection! <gasps> I would crawl through 3.6 miles of broken glass just to talk to a man who ate a chicken you once touched. to the center of a tootsie pop. <laughs> Licks, that's also my number. Tax me. No. He says no. I say no. Bye. According to this guy, my eyebrows are inflicted as well as everything else and I slayed life. I didn't know that yet, but thank you. <laughs> I slayed life. Yay me. Yay me. <laughs> Yay me. And then there are those guys that think overusing my name might make me feel familiar with them or whatever. I was considering suing you for being so gorgeous, then I realized I'm so damn lazy. I prefer to sit back and read some Dr. Seuss. But anyway, if you haven't heard, I'm a pea suedo chef just in search of a sous chef to help me in the kitchen. That would be sweet if you could suit it up in chef's apron and come cook with me. I'm slightly confused. Your body is a wonderland, and I'd like to be Alice. What have I done to deserve this? So, besides being a model and a future trophy wife, what else do you do? Nothing productive, but at least I know how to do a bomb ass mac and cheese. Does that count? Did I win at life? No? Okay. So, that was the video. Hope you guys liked it. If you think I should choose one of these guys to be my prince, for aka me Tinderella, then make sure to comment down below which guy I should choose and also tell me your experiences with Tinder in the comments down below. I'm super excited to find out what you guys have experienced, what funny pickup lights you have gotten or even sent to other people. I hope you guys are having a great amazing day. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, make sure to go like this, get this to 200 likes, we can do it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I got that cool pillow there. That is just a reason and all. I mean, just saying. I love you guys so much. See you guys next time. I love you so much. Bye. <laughs>